Hi, good morning, dear students. I am Makhaji Ingle, principal of Kumkale Pew College, Mudol. As per request of many students and faculty members, I am happy to announcing that I am restarting my online classes once again. Today, as a sample video, I am uploading one of the beautiful concepts from second year economics that is law of diminishing marginal utility. It will ask for the six marks question and also it is very important for CA foundation exam. Without petrol, we can't ride bike. Same here without the concept of utility. We can't deal with the law of diminishing marginal utility. Then what is the meaning of utility and why it is considered as subjective? Utility means want satisfying capacity of a good is called as a utility. For example, I am very thirsty, so I will drink a glass of water. That glass of water have capacity to satisfy my want or fulfill my want is called as utility. And why it is considered as a subjective? Because it changes person to person, it changes place to place, it changes time to time. I will explain in detail in my future videos how it changes. But time being, as a small example I will give here, a cup of tea will give more pleasure in the morning session. A same cup of tea will give lesser utility in the afternoon session. That is called as subjective. In the consumer behavior, we have the two approaches. One is a cardinal utility analysis, another one is a ordinal utility analysis. Under the cardinal utility analysis, we have the two types of utilities. The first one is a total utility and it is denoted by TUN. Second one, we have marginal utility and it is denoted by MUN. Without these two topics, we can't understand the law of diminishing marginal utility. First one, total utility. Total satisfaction derived from X commodity. X commodity means either chocolate, either golgappa, either mango or banana is considered as a X commodity. From that X commodity, we have to derive total satisfaction. That is called as a total utility. Second one is a marginal utility. It means change in total utility due to consumption of an additional unit. Marginal means extra. Because of that extra unit, our total utility will be the changes. Okay. I hope it clear. I will explain these two in the table in a better manner. Don't worry. Now, let's come to the law of diminishing marginal utility main topic. How to get six marks for this concept? Because most of the students are blaming. Sir, I wrote more than two to three pages, but still I can't score six out of six for this concept. Not only for this concept, many students are facing difficulties to score out of 14 economics. In my future videos, definitely I will explain how to score out of 14 economics and how to make good paper presentation. What is the structure? What are the key finds should be include? And what is your flow of answer? These topics I will explain in my future videos one by one. Here, how to start this law of diminishing marginal utility. First of all, we have to start with who introduced this concept. This is very important. He will get one mark here. And this is also one mass question. Keep in your mind. Okay. Who introduced this concept? This concept is introduced by Professor H. H. Ghosan. And later it was developed by one of the great economists in a micro also, Professor Alfred Marshall. Professor Alfred Marshall. Here you will get one marks. 
Now let's move to the definition. What is the law of diminishing marginal utility? According to the Alfred Marshall, he is explaining if a consumer is consuming one after another units of X commodity, his total utility is increasing and marginal utility is decreasing and all other things are remain constant. Once again, I repeated the definition. What he is saying that if a consumer is consuming one after another units of X commodity, his total utility will be the increasing and marginal utility is decreasing. All other things are remain constant. So, I will clear this definition with the help of one imaginary story and table. Okay. Just imagine that since morning you didn't had anything. Completely you are hungry. Your friend was called and invite you for a birthday party. Yes, you will attend the birthday party and he will give you a special pizza or he will order you special pizza for you. You are literally happy because since morning you didn't had anything and he will order you pizza for you. So, in that particular pizza, there are six pieces are there. One, two, three, four, five and six. Okay. Now, I will consider those six pieces of pizza as considered as a units. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces of pizza. And total utility and marginal utility already you didn't had anything since morning you are completely hungry and you are really interested to eat in a pizza right first piece of pizza will provide you 12 details of satisfaction so why particular 12 only there is no rule to take a particular numbers of NCRT only. You can take any values. It's your wish. Take 120 also. Fine. But the process should be clear. The marginal utility should decrease and total utility should increase. Okay. Second piece of pizza will give you 6. So why it is decrease? Because consider this is your stomach. Already you have had one piece of pizza. So this much your stomach is full, right? And you are little bit happy. Ah, finally, I had something. So that's why that happiness, that feel will reduce your marginal utility from 12 to 6. Again, you will have the third piece of pizza that will provide you four etiles. Because already you had two face of pizza. Third one will give only four. Right? Now, fourth will give you only two. Because already you had three face of pizza. So, fourth one will provide you only two. Fifth one will provide nothing. It means zero. Because almost your stomach is full. Almost you are satisfied. You are reached saturation point, but still you are trying for sixth piece of pizza because you are very interested in pizza. So it will create this utility or negative. So what is this disutility? After fifth pizza, almost you are reached saturation point in the fifth stage only, but sixth when you are trying that will create uncomfort or maybe vomiting sensation that is called as a disutility or negative we call that's why it is minus 2. So now how can we obtain total utility from with the help of the marginal utility. The first unit of total utility and marginal utility are same this is a rule. If you add all the marginal utilities you will get the total utility concept for example 
minus 2 it is 22 comes to the definition if a consumer is consuming one after another units of x commodity which one is the x commodity here pizza is the x commodity if he consume one after another unit of x commodity his total utility is increasing and marginal utility is decreasing and all other things are remain constant what is that all other things are remain constant it is nothing but utility is measurable and taste should be constant consumer should be rational and there is no time gap between the consumption process and commodity size should be standard if these all limitations are true then only this law of diminishing marginal utility will applicable to the real society otherwise it never okay you are understood almost the total utility and marginal utility because the formula of total utility is nothing but mu1 plus mu2 plus till mu and it will go if it is for example it is mu1 mu2 mu3 mu6 if you add all the marginal utilities we'll get the total utilities same how can we obtain the marginal utility marginal utility n is equal to total utility n minus total utility n minus 1 it means total utility 2 minus total utility 1 here it is the total utility 1 and total utility 2 18 minus 12 it is 6 first is as it is it is same 22 minus 18 4 24 minus 22 2 24 minus 24 0 22 minus 24 minus 2 this is the table you can use any other numbers also no problem instead of 6 60 instead of 4 40 instead of 2 20 instead of 0 0 minus 20 you can take any number the process should be same the marginal utility is decreasing and total utility is a increasing manner the same table we have to represent in diagram for the time being our time saving purpose i already draw the diagram but in upcoming videos in the live classes in the live session only i will draw the diagram okay here ox axis explain the units oy axis explain the total utility and marginal utility concept highest total utility we have 24 here the lowest utility we have the 0 here so i cover 0 to 25 the scale is 5 0 to 5 5 to 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 20 to 25 if you take larger scale your diagram will be the smaller if you take a smaller scale your diagram will be the larger it depends on you for example the first unit of pizza will provide 12 total utility next it is 18 next it will be the 22 24 24 next it will be the 22 if we add all the points you'll get the total utility curve same as a marginal utility first marginal utility will be the provide 12 second 6 third fourth fourth 2 fifth 0 and sixth will be the minus 2 because it is this utility are negative if we add all the these points you'll get the marginal utility curve so this is the diagram so then how to explain the diagram because you can't understand ncrt explanation it is not very it is not easy to understand the explanation of the ncrt so now i will make it easy how to explain diagram in better manner or in a simple way for example there is a three relationship between total utility and marginal utility here for example first one as 
as much as units are increasing or consumption of the units are increasing total utility is increasing right at the same time marginal utility is decreasing if units are increasing total utility is increasing and marginal utility are decreasing second one once the total utility is constant it is a one mass very important concept once the total utility is constant the marginal utility become zero once the total utility is constant marginal utility is become zero one mass question if the total utility is constant what about the marginal utility marginal utility is equal to zero or saturation point third one if the total utility is started to decline started to decline your marginal utility become negative your marginal utility become negative this is called law of variable or law of diminishing marginal utility very simple concept you can easily remember with the help of the imaginary story if you want this kind of conceptual clarity for more videos or more conceptual understanding please subscribe my channel and also one more very important if you want these videos in kannada as well ee video galu nimge kannadadallu kuda beku ansidre dabi to comment section alli kannada anta heli type maadi ee video galu kannadadallu kuda na nimge upload maadkodtini dabi to subscribe maadlikke marilik hogbedi because mundina video galu ಅಪ್ಡೇಟ್ ಆಗಿರಬಹುದು ಅಥವಾ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವೈಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಗಳು ಬರಬೇಕಾದ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಅದರ ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ದೊರೆಯುತ್ತೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೊ ಟುಮಾರೋ ಆನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಅಪ್ಲೋಡ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಬೈ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಥ